Welcome back to another Summer Torah. This week's parsha, Parshat Re'e, tells us in the, right in the beginning, Moshe says to the people, Re'e Anochi noten lefneichem hayom, I have put before you today at Habracha, that haklala blessings, and the opposite, which is curses. It's interesting, the next two psukim tell us, if you will listen to the way of the Torah, and you will go in its path, and you will do it. And if not, then you won't do it. And it never tells us exactly what is this bracha, what is this klala, what are these blessings and these curses. What do you think Moshe meant? You know, it's interesting. Sometimes we forget because we love prizes, we love rewards. When we do our Kabbalat HaTanachim, Kabbalat HaChumashim, our Kabbalat HaSidurim, it's so much fun and so exciting. The excitement is that we're learning Torah and we're being involved in Torah and mitzvot. It's not just that we get these prizes. Prizes are great. They're wonderful, but that's not why we do them. The actual beauty of Torah and mitzvot is Torah and mitzvot themselves. That it rewards us by giving us so much excitement in our life. You know, I'll give you an example. This coming week, there's going to be a solar eclipse. That means that the sun is going to be blocked by the moon. If you're outside on Monday at around 2.30, between 2.30 and 3, don't look directly at it. But you'll see it'll get much darker as the moon passes in front of the sun. And it shades our regular sun. It's like we're in the moon's shadow. And that is such a beautiful and powerful thing if we think about it. It's Hashem showing His power. That's the way we look at it if we look at things through the eyes of the Torah and mitzvot and the privilege that we have. As opposed to it just being the moon passing in front of the sun. It's really Hashem's power that does that. There are those who would even make a bracha of osema separation on this eclipse which you can't really do because we can't really see it, but some people, some people would make a bracha. So think about that message, the idea that when we see something, because we have this beautiful reward of Torah and life of, of mitzvot, that we are rewarded to enjoy and have a wonderful, meaningful life. Shabbat Shalom.